welcome to the zoo. First first actual full edition for the year 1989. Yeah, that's right. By the way, for those of you thinking that it was 88, we skipped an entire year. Just came in a few moments. The atomic time. calendar thing. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. That, that thing that we've been talking about for years yeah. finally took effect. They found they yeah. missed a year. The year 1642 oh. was so missing. Making it up now. Making it up now. Yeah. So we're going to do two for one. So, you, so that's what it basically was. 1989. Mm -hmm. 607 on the zoo. Sue Hall is back now. I'm here. I'm back. We're back from vacation and rain today. Tapering off this morning. Mostly cloudy this afternoon with a slight chance of showers. Highs in the 50s, lower 60s right now. San Jose, 53 degrees. In Marin, it's 40. In Oakland, 52. In the city, 48. Hope everyone had a uh, very pleasant uh, Christmas and New Year's. We were gone. I was in uh, Houston. Mm -hmm. you know, what a miserable dead town that is. Huh? Really? Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's oh. over. They just ought to just come in there. The government ought to fly over with giant, uh, those big tanker planes, those yeah. U.S. Air, you know, the boats come out of and stuff, uh -huh. and just dump gasoline on it torch it. Napalm. Raise it. Just raise it to the ground. <laughs> Their football team won, though. No. Must be some excitement. Yeah, but you know what? what? Uh, I tell you what, they don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. Oh. They got the worst owner in football. Do they? And their fans don't care. They didn't even, they had to, as a matter of fact, they had to get a 24-hour extension from the uh, league office to extend the blackout, you know, the time, time limit. limit. Yeah. Because they couldn't sell out. Oh, brother. Yeah, the, the weekend I was there, this past, the Sunday before last, uh -huh. they couldn't sell out a playoff game. It was blacked out in Houston. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, they don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. But I, I, would somebody help us? Remember Cajun Ken Cooper? Yes. The disc jockey from New Orleans who yeah. called us last time. Oh, uh, yeah. The Saints beat the 49ers. Yeah, I remember What that. station does he work for? Gosh, don't, was it, is it B94? Yeah, but I need call letters. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Maybe they'd know. Because I want to call. I really yeah. do. I want to call. I want to call. I'm so happy. <laughs> I, you know, I know a lot of people, because they were underdogs and all that, were very happy for the Saints to get into the playoffs. But I was sick about it, mainly because of their old drunk owner dancing around there like a complete, you know, addict, <laughs> oh, you know. Yes, isn't that true? Uh, wow. I, I'd like to have seen it. I wish they'd shoved the camera in his face. Now, dance, fat man. Come on, come on, dance now. Where's your umbrella, you fat idiot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Jeez. Here it is, 1989, and I'm already starting my brutal. I know it. All right. Man. Well, that's right. That's right. This is 1989, the year of brutality. Right. <laughs> we officially make it the year of brutality. Hello, what city, please? Did you drop the phone? Pardon? Did you just drop the phone? I don't have a phone, sir. Okay. No. Well, I do. How are you talking to me if you don't have a phone? We have a headset. Oh, okay. With this a is... little plug stuck in our ear that can't fall out. Yeah, we'll stick this. We have a, uh, this is KMEL Radio in San, <laughs> San Francisco calling. You're on the air with us, so don't say anything crude. You've already been unbelievably sexual in the, the thing about the plug and stick and stuff. I don't know what that was about. But uh, could you give us the area code for New Orleans, please? Sure. One moment. Oh. Okay. How are you this morning? I'm just fine. Good, good. New Orleans is area code 504. All right. Well, you have a nice day. Sure. Thank you. Bye. Bye. 504. 504. Let's just see if by chance somebody knows where this guy's uh, working yeah. at. 504. What's his name? Cajun Bob? Ken, Cajun, Cajun Ken Cooper. Cajun Ken Cooper. What city? Hi, uh, New Orleans, please. Yes. Yes, ma'am, this is KMEL Radio in San Francisco. You're on the air with us. I have to inform you of that so that you don't spew out any of those Cajun obscenities. Could you, <laughs> by any chance, do you know the, uh, st hello? Yes. Oh. Right oh, my do you know the station that uh, Cajun Ken Cooper, he's a disc jockey there in New Orleans. Do you know where he works? No, I'm afraid not, sir. Do you know what, uh, what is it? B94. B94, the, uh, the request line number for B94. I'll check for you. Hold on just a second. Thank you very You're much. You're welcome. Right. I have a listing for a B97. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's it. That's, that's it. close <laughs> enough. <laughs> we'll that's take only it. three off. We'll take it. <laughs> okay. Would you like the office or the request line? Uh, request uh, line. Thank you. Nine. The number is 260 Oh, what in the world? world. <laughs> they're using our, they're using you know the equipment we used here in San Francisco back in the fifties. They, they got it out here in 1989. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, let's here. see if we can get a hold of them. 504-260-9797. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, this is not taking away from your musical time because mm -mm. we don't have any commercials. Yeah, you'll get plenty of music this morning. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> see, I wonder how quickly they answer their request line. We could probably play a record or two between now and the time they answer. What time is it there? Eight? Hey, I'll pretend I'm Jim Mora, the, the, the head coach. Yeah, that'll get you through. Yeah. Drunk, threatening suicide. Mm -hmm. I'll tell him I got the owner tied up in a motel room. <laughs> got him. <laughs> 
I can sell the address. I got it tied to a chair and I'm making him dance. <laughs> Move that chair, you fat ugly. Come John. on, you idiot. John. See, that's Come on. That's mm -hmm. well, this is quite a statement about their radio station, mm -hmm. I think, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Well, they're all so depressed over there. Yeah, they Probably thought were. they were just going to wipe Minnesota off the map. They really did. Well, they well, they would call it all over the country, making wild accusations. Wild, drunken <laughs> bets. Yeah. We'll keep it ringing until they answer. 612, it's the morning zoo from 106.1. KML. Six twenty, morning zoo. Back from vacation. I this is John London with Ron Engelman. Sue Hall returns today. Uh, you, now we understand there was a rumor going around that you sold the baby into white slavery. Not, true? not true. No, it's not I true. Thought about it, but uh, not true. No. Now, he gave a, it away. <laughs> he says yeah. he, you have somebody watching this thing at home. Yes, I do. Who's watching it? Well, right now it's father's watching it, and then it's, uh, when he goes to work, we have a great lady that's going to be yeah. taking care of him. Yeah. Is he walking yet? <laughs> no. Please, He's not Ron. Walking Please, yet. Ron, don't rush it. How oh old is he? He's not even stinking sleeping through the night yet. How He's, old is he? He'll be eight it? weeks Friday. Eight weeks old. John I was all worried. Yeah. I, was, I was working at a smelting factory. I, know, I remember John, that. I know. In Del Rio, Texas. I know. And I was his boss. Yeah, I, I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a slug you've brought oh, into the world. Oh, 620 Please. during the morning zoo. And uh, during that last song, we did get a hold of this radio station in New Orleans, the yeah. one that was kind enough to call us mm -hmm. the last time the Saints were in town and mm -hmm. beat us, eked us out. Well, I want you to listen to one thing. Now, listen as he as he answers the phone. Look how rude and curt he is yeah. until he finds out he's on the air. Now, okay. listen, listen, listen to this. Hi, B97. Hi, is Cajun Ken Cooper in? Yeah, this is Cajun. Hey, this is uh, London and Engelman from San Francisco. Oh, God. Hey, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> in the words of London, bite me. Hey, uh, uh, listen, what happened? What the hell? What the hell happened yesterday? With what? Wait. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, you guys came back to reality yesterday, didn't you? I guess, yeah, I got the reality right here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, the dream was shattered. I don't need this. You know why? But, Ken, I'll tell you what. I was actually pulling for the Saints. Part of my, my right side of my brain was pulling for the Saints. But the other part, I was hoping that drunken old fart of an owner of yours... I was hoping he'd kill over in a heart attack right there in the stands. I'm so sick of seeing him dancing on the field. You know, we lock people up in this town for doing that. You do, huh? Yeah. Have you heard the term, eat dog dirt and bark at the moon? <laughs> <laughs> I, we had a great year. You had a great year, but... But, well, all right. but you're not going to the party in San Diego. Well, you look like not. Well, listen, you did have a great year. I was really surprised, to be honest with you. I was really surprised. I was, I was thinking it was going to come down to the 49ers and Saints for the Super Bowl, but. Uh... Well, I hope you guys. I, I wish you guys good luck. It looks like it's going to be tough. You guys are on a roll, but these obviously some of these teams aren't roll, ready to roll over and play dead. No, no, it's going to be a tough. Listen, you guys had a great year, but we did want to kind of officially wrap it up. <laughs> One more in-your-face <laughs> phone call, you know. You want to call me yet to say get cheap shot. Now, if we lose next week, I'm expecting you're going to be man enough just to stay off the stinking phone. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, Ken. All right. See ya. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Feels All good. Right. Yeah, yeah, it does. Doesn't My first irritating phone call wow. of 1989. That's great. It's great. 623 it is, by the way, if you're just waking up, 1989. Yeah. We skipped an entire year by mm -hmm. order of the president. As a matter of fact, the United Nations had a special late-night meeting and ordained it 1989 last year. Brian has that story for you in full mm -hmm. detail. Yeah, I've got it all. All right. We'll, we'll check that and all the other big news right now. On the zoo, here's Brian Cooley. Revelations about two Philippine disasters, and the whale seems to be gone. I'll tell you all about it after we check your goat patrol. Here's Renette. Uh, so. Hey, watch <laughs> it. 
And Winnell did a great job. I'd like to thank her, but uh, I'm back. Nasty weather this morning. Careful for flooding on the roadways. <laughs> San Mateo Bridge. Well, that sounded horrible. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. San Mateo Bridge are back at beginning to build now behind the toll plaza. And we had an accident reported just...